Welcome to the Dentamax Tip of the Week, Patient Recall Part 2. Have you ever had a patient um, that didn't quite fit the automatic six-month recall and they weren't eligible to come in right away? Maybe they just moved into the area and they saw the previous dentist just two months ago and they have the same insurance plan. For these unique type cases, you can set a manual recall date. Just click on Manual Set Recall Date from the patient's record and you can go ahead and one, two, three, four, We'll pick August, uh, four months out. You can pick whatever date you want for the, their manual recall date. Now, what I'd recommend to do also is to go ahead and schedule, if possible, an appointment for um, August 27th or later. Go ahead and set that next recall appointment, if possible. That might not be possible. And so within Denimax, we'll save our changes. Um, you can go to List and go to Recall List. And then uh, when you get towards August and you're looking to fill in the holes in your schedule for your hygiene, um, we'll go ahead and pick August uh, 1st to the 31st. Those patients uh, that are eligible for recall in the month of August will appear. And I select these ranges, including uh, Jessica Miller, who I've set up with this manual recall date. And then you can go ahead and put them back in the system by clicking on Schedule Now and see uh, the procedures that uh, you might want to pick for them to come back in uh, for, uh, their frequencies here at the bottom, and any note that you may have entered in. Okay? Um, Let's say, though, that for some reason uh, Jessica forgets that uh, she can only come back in and after four months, and you forget, and she calls to schedule a recall appointment. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and we'll schedule an appointment for May 9th here. Double-click here on the clock to make our new recall appointment, and we will select Jessica Miller. And I have a little note that pops up that I had pre-entered in, saying is next eligible for the recall appointment in four months after 8:27. We'll go ahead and say OK on that. Perhaps I didn't put in a custom note, and it doesn't pop up to remind me of that. Well, when I go ahead to add in a multi-code uh, or any type of uh, recallable procedure, we'll go ahead and enter in our initial visit. When we go to save our changes, the program knows that my manual recall date doesn't allow this patient to come in until 8:27 or later. And so I have various options, including not changing it, manually changing this uh, recall date to a sooner date, um, taking away all my recall dates, or uh, changing my automatic increments for the recall of this patient. So Denimax has a lot of smarts built into it to help you with your recalls, to make sure that uh, the patients get out of the system or have unusual situations, that you can track those and get them back in the system so they're in for the recall appointments. I hope that this tip of the week has been beneficial, and I look forward to next week.